Hey everybody, this is James back with another video review, and this time on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Craven the Hunter, or as the box says, the Savage Force. The Savage Force consists of Chameleon and Craven, both are brothers. Uh, as you can see on the back, there you can see a picture of both Craven and Chameleon, and there's a little bio on both of them. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. And on the back, you can see the rest of the figures that consist of this wave that's Scarlet Spider, Superior Venom. Uh, the Heroes for Hire, Misty Knight, and Marvel's White Tiger. All of these I have reviewed already. Uh, and on the side, as I said before, all the Spider-Man related characters all have just a generic photo of Spider-Man. So, um, so let's just get it. Go ahead and crack this guy open. And here we have Craven outside the packaging, looking fantastic. Uh, this has to be out of the figures I've opened so far. This is my favorite one. I think he looks great. Uh, but before we get into the figure, I'll, let's go ahead and look at the build figure and the accessory he comes with. So uh, Craven the Hunter comes with the right leg for the Rhino build a figure. It looks really nice. And since we're you know we're building our Rhino, let's go ahead and plop it in there. And we're pretty much, you know, almost done. We just need the left le left arm and the left leg. Craven also comes with this really long spear, uh, very appropriate for the character. Uh, looks really nice. You can see some nice, uh, you know, nice metal or the, the spear color. Looks really cool. Nice silver on the top. Get some red beads on there. Looks really cool as well. And you get to see some of the feathers, which is actually has some paint detail to it. Uh, and you know, and the stick itself just is just this, you know, this brown, you know, just kind of brown colored wood, you know, nothing too much. There's some etching in here, as you can see right there, so that looks really nice, but it's a very nice piece, and the weapon can fit in both hands pretty well. It's a little loose fitting, as you can see, but, um, you know, you can just have them holding for both of the hands, and it looks pretty good. So my one major complaint with this figure is the head sculpt. i um, not too crazy on it, and it's not a bad head sculpt, as you can see, there's some good detail on there. You can see some and you can see some of the wrinkles on there on um, but the it seems like the facial hair and everything just seems painted on it's not really sculpted or it doesn't look as nearly as good as the prototype did or even on the back of the box like they look completely different um, and the eyes too the eyes don't seem as defined as they do on the back on the back of the box um, the hair looks good you know the hair looks fine but this seems like a younger craven like kind of if he's in his late 20s i imagine craven being in his mid 30s I don't know, this just, screen, this just seems like he's a little younger Craven. But it's not a bad head sculpt, um, and you know, there's st it's still a nice head sculpt, I don't mind it. Uh, you can see the flesh tones are really nice, you know, consistent throughout the whole figure, which is really good. Uh, the lion mane on here looks really good too, you can see some details in there. Like some of the fur is different, you can see that on the back as well, there's some different colored fur. Uh, you can see some skin tones here. This is just painted on, this little leopard bandana, or I guess it's cheetah. I think it's cheetah or leopard I'm not sure uh, just painted on looks really good paints clean you know it looks really good same thing on the other side paint is really clean so I like that a lot uh, oh another little minor complaint I have is that they the, the skin tone is different on the forearm uh, what they did is they had they painted the, the wristband wristband darker so they've painted this first and then they painted the skin tone over I don't get why they didn't put the lighter tone first and then the darker over I just they always Hasbro always does that so it doesn't really make sense but why you know it kind of makes sense to do it the other way around and the hands look fine you can see some fingernails right there so it looks really good same on the other side um, and you can see this little necklace right here it's got all these like I guess these uh, fangs so it looks really cool I uh, can see some, you know, his abs right there. You can see a nice gold buckle painted really well. I see some of the pouches. No real paint on them, but they're nicely detailed. You can see some of the fine lines right there. And look, these are really nice. I like them a lot. And you can see his tattered loincloth. Um, looks really cool. I really like that a lot. Um, kind of gets in a way of posability, but you can take it off if you wish. Just right, right back there with the bigger pouch. And you can easily put it back on. Uh, so, and nothing much on here in the brown, you know, just some brown pants, but it's a nice colored brown. And you get these really cool skulls. I really like your skulls a lot. They're nicely painted. They look really sick. Um, like you can see some of the black in there, and it's a nice skull color. You can see they're all blacked out, you know, with the, the eye sockets are. And this side, this side looks more sinister than this one, but these look fucking cool. I really like these a lot. And even, even below that, you can see some nice paint detail, like with, I guess, like this straw or something. It looks really nice. It looks really cool. Um, 
and you can see you know it's just his boots you know just regular boots um, you can see some nice detail right there and the articulation for Craven is also exceptionally well. He's using the same body as a Grim Reaper. So this is a new, newer sculpt, a sculpt for Hasbro. And the articulation is really good. Uh, his head can look up pretty well, even with this mane. And can look down great. Uh, you can turn side to side. Uh, his ab, uh, his... His abs can go, you know, he's got a good ab crunch right there. Can't really move back because of the main. You can take this off. I have seen people take this off, but it's kind of difficult, and I kind of don't really want to show it on camera uh, just because I don't know how much of a pain it is to put back on. And you can also pop off the head and take off the necklace if, you, if you'd like. So there's that option for you. Um, he's got ball joints in the shoulders right there. They're a little tough, we could, probably because of the mane or just the sculpt itself, but um, you know, they can they can do a full 360 and they could mm, go out, uh, fuck, I can't really, they can go out that much, I wanna say, shit, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah, they can go out that much, can't really go out too great, same thing on this side, they go out that much. Um, you have, you know, bicep swivel up here, double jointed elbows, which is really good, they have a wrist, wrist hinge right there, and the wrist swivel, which is really good. He's got a waist twist right here, works really good. Um, doesn't really get in the way, kind of gets in the way with the main back here, but not too big, much of a problem. You can, you can loop it around if you need to. Um, he, he, they can kick out, his legs can kick out that much. Can't really go back, and they can go back okay, more so than better than a lot of other figures. They can go out that much. He's got an upper thigh swivel right there. Double jointed knees, which is really good. Uh, he's got a calf swivel right there, and his feet can not really go up and go down pretty well. And he's got a really good ankle pivot. And with Craven being on the more bigger body than the standard Marvel Legend, he stands at about six and three quarter inches tall. And here we have Craven the Hunter next to the Pizza Spidey from the Hobgoblin Wave and the Grim Reaper from the uh, Ant Man Ultron Wave. And uh, this is the same body as Craven, so uh, and I think this body suits more him than Grim Reaper. So I think this is the better body for it. And Spider Man and Craven look great next to each other. And here we have Craven the Hunter next to his other members of the Sinister Six. Uh, all these are from Toy Biz. Uh, all from toy, you know, toy biz from Spider-Man classics to Marvel Legends, and I think he works in pretty good scale. You know, he, he works pretty good scale next to all of them. Um, it's kind of weird because he has like the newer paint as opposed to you know when Toy Biz was doing it. They kind of have the older paint scheme, and obviously all the detail on these figures are much you know better in the face, but they still look pretty good. You know, next to each other, uh, I, I think I could fit him in. I don't have the old Craven anymore. Because uh, I thought that figure sucked, uh, but this is easily you know a better re replacement than that old school Craven. And that's our look at Craven the Hunter here from the Rhino Wave. I think he's in a fantastic figure. I really like this figure a lot. He's probably my favorite figure from the entire wave so far. Haven't opened up Chameleon or Ghost Rider yet, so uh, we'll see how those figures turn out. But I love this figure so far. He's pretty fun to pose. I like the the accessory that he comes with. Uh, I like. Just overall, I like the paint. I like the paint. I like the articulation, the sculpt. I think he works great with the other Spider-Man villains, and he's just an overall great figure. Um, love, really love this figure. I think this is a must, especially if you don't have a Craven in your collection. This guy is definitely an improvement over that Toy Biz one. Anyway, that's it for my review, guys. Please stay tuned for more Marvel Legends reviews and more figure reviews coming on this channel. Uh, if you liked it, please you know like it, subscribe, and you know, share it around, leave a comment. What do you think of this figure? Do you think it's the best of the wave? I think it's the best of the wave so far, but we'll see how that how that turns out with the next two figures. Anyway, that's it with my review, guys. Uh, please stay tuned.